and 2012 Central Methodist Gary Stoner Invitational with two of the uh, the top two women from uh, Westminster, Lady Blue Jays, uh, Kaylee Downey, uh, let's see, a senior, senior is that right, yeah. from Kirkwood, and then Sarah Kest Kestner? Yes. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was an in or in there or not, I couldn't couldn't remember. Uh, junior from uh, from Russellville. Yes. And uh, congratulations, you guys, what, 10th? And then uh, what, 16th, 17th, Kaylee, what was? Somewhere around there, I wasn't okay. sure my exact place. But and I think it helped, helped the uh, Lady Blue Jays to a third place team overall behind Central Missouri and um, and, uh, and had a rival, arch rival, William, William Woods. Woods yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but tell me um, what it's, tell me a little bit about how the race went today. Obviously it's kind of turned cold for the first time all fall, but um, somebody jump in there and tell me how it went for you guys. Oh, I think it was good overall. It's the first 5K we've had in a while because usually we race 6Ks, especially more towards this part of the season. So I think everyone did pretty well. I know a lot of people, I think, PR'd for their 5K little, times. Yeah, a little hillier than we were expecting, or yeah. like less hilly than we were expecting. So yeah. that was nice. Yes. I think they changed the course up a little bit. So I know yeah. the girls' course, at least, was a little flatter than yeah. we were anticipating. So our times were a little little under what you expected. Yeah, viewer so. friendly though, and I got to be around the course a couple points, although I was running late for the ladies race, so so I didn't catch as many spots for you guys, but um, tell me what it's been like part of the, being a part of the program that's pretty young, that mm -hmm. the program was, was discontinued for a long time and then recently brought back with Coach Toby and now Coach Marshall and Coach Toby uh, leading, leading the program. Tell me what it's like um, and being a part of kind of re returning the program and trying to grow success, have a well, successful program. Each year it's like a complete, it always seems like a complete transformation every year from, like I know our first year, both at Westminster, was a huge change from the year before and then last year was even a big change and this year's even, I think, bigger just because we have so many new Yeah, we've been growing really fast. Runners. And, um, yeah. And then just the level of skill has changed so much too. Like someone that would be like one of the last couple of runners for us on our team this year would have been at the beginning of the program like our number one runner so. right mm -hmm. so keep up in the bar each year yeah. and, and adding talent each year to mm -hmm. keep keep pushing each other um what what uh and you guys both come from from good high school programs but what 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 was the adjustment like in college uh, for people who are thinking about running college and looking at different schools what any suggestions on on uh, just thoughts on what the transition is like is to keep up with schoolwork and and uh, trying to train all the time. He's kind of built us up gradually. Like we're doing more miles now than we did like first coming in. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully you'll get a good coach who will not throw you into it all at once and <laughs> yeah. get you injured. It's always like a kind of a tough transition for the freshmen to yeah. just get used to the time management stuff and being more on your own. But I think all our freshmen are looking pretty good. Everyone's healthy so far. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a big thing just learning to keep, take good care of yourself and stay healthy and get enough sleep. Because it's easy when you have a lot of free time, say like sure. in the afternoons or something, to just not do your homework until 10 o'clock at night or later even. Right. So just, it's all about a transition. Yeah. And obviously at, at Westminster, the uh, fraternity and sorority culture is pretty big. So that can be a... Uh, um, again, something you have to manage your time well with. Um, but um, any, any, just any, uh, any thoughts on Coach Marshall and Coach Toby? Um, mm -hmm. Familiar with those guys, and I'm very impressed with the job they're doing. Any, any favorite stories or, or uh, sayings or mantras that, that you get from them? Um, they've both been great to run for. They balance each yeah. other out nicely, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, um, they have different styles, but like they complement each other very Sure, nicely, sure. So. Great stories. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we both really like taking us to Chipotle yeah. after our meets. <laughs> yeah, their favorite. That. Um. <laughs> well, what's next on the schedule for you guys? I know uh, conferences at Greenville at, in across the river in Illinois in yeah. a, a couple weeks for St. Louis Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. But what's mm -hmm. do you have anything before then? Yeah, next week we have our last meet before conference at Illinois College in Jacksonville. Okay. Illinois. Um, Taking so the whole team up there. Yeah. That should be good. Okay. Last meet with our full team together. Yeah. I so see. Interesting. And then uh, after after conference, it'll be regionals. Is that up in Wisconsin this year? Yes, Oshkosh, okay. Wisconsin. So northern Wisconsin. Chilly. 
Well, it, weather today should help prepare us for that. Yes. Yeah. Well, it seems almost unfair. Most of the Division three schools in, in Missouri and surrounding areas are, you know, smaller, similar like Westminster. Mm -hmm. But then you've got to go against the big Wash U's, and then yes. it seems like every every other city in in Wisconsin has a huge yeah. state university that are all Division three programs. So I know that's always a tough battle when you get to regionals. So and I'm sure. They're uh, used to this freezing cold weather that, that we're, yes. we've started to endure now. So, Well, ladies, congratulations on the great race, and uh, keep up the good work. Hope you guys stay healthy, and uh, um, a lot of hopefully just continue to grow and build that program at Westminster. And uh, good luck in, in uh, Jacksonville next week, and then conference in a couple weeks. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.